Okay, here's a quick run through of case study one, getting it set up and how to modify the file. To start, I'm going to assume that you have taken the template file plotsandmoments.txt and saved it in a location that you can retrieve. I recommend a flash drive. Notice I've saved it under case studies and then case study one, and I've renamed the file by changing the last three characters from txt to rmd. Now, I have RStudio installed, so I can just click this guy and he'll come right up. All right, so there's the file in RStudio. We don't really need to look at the file browser any longer. Before we get started, the first thing I want to do is follow this instruction that says install packages. So we'll copy this, put it down in the console window and press enter. And we should get a little grumbling and then a message that says that it's downloaded packages. Great. Okay. Now before we do anything here, and I notice we've got some stuff here that shouldn't be there. I'm just going to pretend you didn't see that. So here's the file as, as you've downloaded it. Let's go ahead and make sure that knit works as advertised. So let's go ahead and hit the knit button. we should get a nice clean construction that will then give us a word file that's got the code and the output in it and then it shows how to generate the other random numbers we can go ahead and close that because it's not our final product yet all right now once we've done the Gaussian we know it works we need to take all the graphic stuff that's being used and modify it just a little bit so we can use it for our other random variables. So I'm going to copy this code. I'm going to come down here for the log normal and I'm going to paste it. Now notice the log normal is in a variable called y. So we're going to take our x's and change them to y's. So in the histogram, it'll be y. Now the one thing where we won't change the x to y is in this curve. So we're going to st you still use x, but then we're going to change this business about the mean and the log. So we're going to talk about mean log, and that'll be the mean of y. We'll kind of talk about sd log, and that'll be the sd of y. Okay. And down here, we've got, we'll do it for the box plot. We'll do the box plot of Y as well. Now I'm going to tell you right now, we're going to have an IOU here on these, these texts. And that's because the text, first two numbers of the text, tell us where we're going to put the captions. And the captions are probably going to be in the wrong place. Let's go ahead and save this file. And then let's do a little dry run on this guy. So the dry run says, I'd like to run the code without knitting the document. I'm going to highlight this guy and do a run. And, well, that was the normal. I have a problem here. Kurtosis and skew didn't show up. And that means that the library hasn't been invoked. So let's go back here and do, hit this library, do a run there. Now we've got that. And now let's go back and do the log normal. Let's go ahead and throw this old picture away. It wasn't even the right one anyway. We'll throw that one away. Let's do the log normal picture. And we'll do a run. So there's a nice picture, but our captions don't show. And the reason our captions don't show is is because I have them at the long, wrong location. 
This says text 5, 0 0.16 for the first one. Well, 5 is right over here, but 0.16 is somewhere up off the graph. So we need to change the coordinates here to like 50 and 0.06. 50, 06, 0.06, then the next one will be 50, and oh, let's do 0.05. And 50, 04, and 50, 03, and of course we'll save this again. And let's try another dry run. Boom, they're on the picture. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and try a knit just to make sure that it's going to look beautiful. There's the document. Gaussian, of course, should be good. We didn't mess with that. Log normal. Oop, the only thing is we haven't changed its name from Gaussian to log normal. So we'll throw him away. We'll go back here. Make this little change right here. Save it as before. Do the knit. Bingo, all set. We'll do similar changes for the gamma, beta, and Laplace distributions. The key thing to remember about the Laplace is do not try to do the curve function for the Laplace since we had to build the Laplace random variables using some sort of a trick. There is not a built-in function to describe its curve.